say Ethereum a new exchange listing. Welcome everybody who is brand new to the channel. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me. And most importantly, go ahead and like and comment down below. It's completely free. It doesn't cost you anything. Today, we're going to be talking about Saferium new listing. And we're going to go ahead and do a quick update on some TA, whether you should buy or not, right? I actually did sell my position and looking to go ahead and re-enter. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the bullish and the bearish scenario. So this is the kind of video you're looking for. Go ahead and make sure to watch to the end of the video. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start off with Twitter. So they actually did about $30,000 in buyback and burn. And as well apparently they're talking to floyd mayweather i don't know how bullish that really is you know a lot of people are actually quite bearish the fact that floyd mayweather has promoted a lot of scam nfts in the past right and as well we actually just got listed on another exchange which gets what exchange that is and that is mexi and you know how i feel usually when it comes to meme tokens getting listed on exchanges i don't like that usually they go down and that's kind of the reason why we saw a mini dump on mexi and actually lisa a token we got in yesterday because it got listed on mexi right and talking about Mexi, if you want to go ahead and support the channel, go ahead and make sure to use my Mexi link down below. You could go ahead and leverage trade all the way up to 200x. And most importantly, you could go ahead and buy and sell safe Ethereum. So no KYC and literally takes less than three seconds to create an account. If you want to go ahead and short this, use my link down below. If we do get futures enabled, I will be shorting safe Ethereum down. So we're here to make money and I hope you're here to make money as well. I do want to mention that the market cap on safe Ethereum is actually incorrect on Dex tools. From the telegram, it says it's about 6 point something three million million and liquidity is at 1 million with 3.59 thousand holders is actually looking pretty good let's go ahead and do some quick ta real quick and see if we should go ahead and enter a position or not all right so let's go ahead and start off with the bullish scenario right so one thing that we could go ahead and say safely is that we do go ahead and see the push to the upside which is a good sign right so right now we are at an area of support my biggest concern is are we going to be able to hold this or are we going to go ahead and lose this right so we go ahead and lose this then we're going to go ahead and go all the way down and that's what i think might be happening and that's the reason why i ended up selling my position one of the biggest things that I'm really bearish about is the fact that I do see a head and shoulders pattern forming right here. You can actually see that right here. And all of you do know how bearish usually head and shoulders patterns are. They do actually finish up with a fake out right here. And then they ended up dumping about 60%. And that's actually the reason why I actually sold my position. So that is the bearish scenario. We could go ahead and see a dump all the way down to like 50 to maybe 60%, depending on how bad the panic is. And one of the bullish scenarios that we could go ahead and see if you are looking to go ahead and enter a position like myself is that right now my biggest goal is to go ahead and see if we could hold 0.91 one four and if we could the biggest concern we need to go ahead and break now is this area of resistance we have been testing it a few times and we could go ahead and tell that this is a very strong area of resistance so as soon as we go ahead and break that we will be making higher highs and i do believe that we will be retesting this area of resistance one more time and to go ahead and finally make new all-time highs now if we don't go ahead and make new all-time highs and we actually get rejected at this area of resistance we're more than likely going to go ahead and come down and try to retest it one last time before possibly even re like falling all the way down so that is my quick analysis on that like i said none of this is financial advice solely my opinion take this with a grain of salt but i did take some profits on this during pre-sale did about a i think 12x something like that so i am actually looking to go ahead and re-enter with the smaller position because we really don't know where it's going to be heading so if you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch all of you on to the next